This is Divorce, Happy, and Successful, the number one spiritually focused self-empowerment podcast for divorced parents that's dedicated to helping you live the fulfilling life you deserve and experience the happiness you long for. Let's get into today's show with our host, W. Mark Watts. Hey, everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. I want to say thank you for coming and hanging out with me on the show. And in today's episode, we are going to talk about the top four things that I did to get over my divorce as quickly as I possibly could. So you know how I like to do it. Let's get right on into this project today and knock it out. So this is super important because what I've found is a lot of times after the divorce, we are so caught up in emotions that we don't have any idea or direction. And if we don't have a direction, then the process of getting over your divorce can last a quite a long time. I'm talking years and years and years. So what I did, and when I look back on my experience and I look back at a lot of the people that I've worked with and talked with and, and watched from afar, Here's four things that I know will help you if you will focus on them. Number one, what you've got to do is apologize if necessary. Now, why is that? Why should you have to do that? Or why is that a good idea? It's a good idea because what you want to do is out of everything that's gone on, you want to start with a clean slate. You got to find a new place to launch from. And regardless of if you initiated the divorce or if you were so-called the main person who caused the divorce or whatever, regardless of the situation, I think at some point you may not be sorry. So again, if you don't feel the need to apologize, don't do it. This is for the people who feel the need to apologize. You feel bad. You feel guilty. You're sad or what have you. Just apologize to the other person. It can be, you know, I, I might not do it in a written format because someone may be able to use that later against you, et cetera, et cetera. I would prefer to do it just face to face, just a quick apology. And again, be sincere about it. Don't just do it for the sake of doing it. If you feel the need to apologize, quick apology, and then don't apologize anymore. Be done with it. It's time to move on. But the whole idea behind this is to to get this guilt and these sorrowful thoughts out of your head express it. And now we can move forward. Now, the next thing that, that I did was I was, I had to acknowledge my part in the divorce. You know, there's various reasons why divorces occur. Typically there's one person that, you know, wanted this or did this. And then that kind of caused the, the slide in the, in the divorce. But what I realized, and especially in my situation, ultimately we grew apart and we both felt that it was the right thing to do. We Neither one of us really wanted to be with the other person anymore, and there was no need to kind of move forward. So what you have to do then do now is when you look back and you say, well, why didn't it work? It should have worked. But and, and the key is there's a lot of growth that has to occur in both individuals. So you no one can say, well, it was all him or it was all her. We all have a role. We all have a new level to grow to. And that's why it didn't work. So look back at what happened. What part did you play? And then you've got now you've got something that you know for a fact that you've got to work on in order to be better, because eventually you're probably going to be in another relationship and you won't want to take these same poor practices into a new relationship. So acknowledge your part in the divorce, whether you just allow things to happen or whether you were the one just straight tripping and going crazy. Whatever the case may be, acknowledge that. Now, number three is ask yourself the tough questions. What could you have really done better? What are you really doing in your life right now? Why did you make the decisions that you did, whether it was being quiet, whether it was hanging out too much, whether it was what have you, you know, not taking care of the finances. You know, in my case, I really wasn't the leader that I wanted to be and that I had envisioned that I could be. But I didn't even know how to be that person, mainly because there was so many things that I was unhappy about personally that 
I couldn't even really grasp how bad I was until, of course, after the fact. And you realize, man, you, you didn't do a good job. You weren't the leader that you've been in your life. And there's reasons why you've got to figure out those reasons and you've got to get those fixed because if you don't, then you can't be the person that you want to be that you know you can be. So that was one of the things that I really wanted to get straight was just, hey, I got to get clear on who I am and what I want to be and what I what I want to do so that I can be the leader that I'm called to be. And I had to be brutally honest with myself. I had to look at every nook and cranny and I had to take the focus off of everybody else in my life and really shine the spotlight on me. Because at the end of the day, I'm responsible for everything I do, good, bad or indifferent. And so if I don't get a handle, if I don't get a clue, then I can't move forward and be be the best person that I want to be. And that's my ultimate goal is every day I want to be the very best person that I can be. Now, finally, and I'm going to leave you with this. What I realize and what I know is that at any point in time in any of our lives, there's always some aspect of our life that can get better, that we can improve on. And if that's not the case for you, hats off to you, then you've got it all figured out. But for me and most of the people I talk to and deal with, that's not the case. So last thing I want you to do is look at all areas of your life in particular or or look at a choose a goal. Something that has an urgent need that needs to be repaired or upgraded. Some aspect of your life. For me, number one out of the gate was finances. I needed to get a job where I could support myself and my son, you know, without hustling and bustling and working, you know, 60 hours, 70 hours a week. That was one of my main goals. So what I did was I really threw myself into finding jobs that would allow me to get become financially stable again. So that became priority number one. And I threw myself into that and I focused and I worked the first six months, nine months to a year. I worked my butt off to get to a financial place where I could support myself and my son without stressing anymore. So I'd ask you to do the same. Find one area Don't spread yourself through too thin, too thin. It could be relationships, could be financial. It could be a personal goal, something you want to get clear about it and work on. But find one thing and work on that. Throw yourself on it. Do the work that you need. Get the help. Do the research and improve in that area. And once you make headway in that area, choose another one. So put your focus on something that's really going to help you and your family and then You don't have time. You literally don't have time to be concerned with or to think about all kinds of other things, i.e. your divorce. All right. That's all I got for you today. As you can tell, I'm a little bit pumped about this one. There's so much more I could talk about. I could go on and on on this one, but maybe we'll do a follow up later on this week. So if anything in this episode served you, listen to it more than one time. Share this with anyone you think it may serve. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe wherever you listen to this. Subscribe because I got a lot of great stuff coming down the pipe for you. So until we talk again, do the very best you can for yourself and for your family, because you will continue to move toward your own personal post-divorce paradise. Take care, everybody. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye now. You've been listening to the Divorce Happy and Successful Podcast. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to leave us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. Until next time, stay focused and keep moving forward.